Hi guys, we made it. Um, you feel like being on camera? Yeah, no man. Oh, okay. Hi guys, we made it. We are strawberry picking today and getting that blueberry lemonade slushy, okay? But yeah, guys, we made it to Southern Hill Farms and I don't know if it's, it's Claremont. I don't even know where we are. But it took me an hour to get here, no tolls. Best believe I'm taking them tolls back though. Okay? <laughs> okay. I wouldn't even say that we childish. We just like stuff like that. I want to make my own vegetables for sure. Like bell for peppers sure. and like black pepper and I, I oregano. And, and, girl, you know I'm going to have them peppers and onion. It's no, for real. It feel like I'm at the beach. So guys, we made it. And the strawberries look got for real. Like I see why people are all the way back there. It's dirty, guys. Oh my gosh, we really have to pick the strawberry. Oh, I found two. I like the hard hair. I like the other ones that I like that train ride they had. I see it. It's, it's one on this side too. I want to really? go this way. Right? These fields go on forever. I just feel like we could get more back there because you don't see no exactly don't don't touch nothing don't run away from me when I tell you to come here come here it look red over here And then they be lying. The sun is a paid actor, okay, because. <laughs> Girl. We're done, y'all. We wasn't even here that long, but these are the strawberries. We gonna get our lemonades now. One thing about it, I'm glad Two things slush for sure. On. This slushy, this blueberry lemonade slushy. Oh, she gonna bust down. Mm -hmm. She gonna do her thing. My um, strawberries were like $7.80 something cent. This was like five and some change. This is a success spending less than $20. <laughs> All right, guys, it is hours later. Ooh, Lord. The lighting is horrible. It is hours later. It is 3.36. I drove the kite off around one something. I had to clean up my room and fold my clothes, child, because y'all, this room was just, it wasn't a hot mess. It was just too much going on for me. So, I'm going to edit this video that's supposed to go out tomorrow, but it's giving Monday because I really don't want to put a load on myself, but my goal is to get it out tomorrow. But, yeah, y'all, I'm going to edit because I haven't edited any, any of it, and it's quite a bit of footage. So, y'all, tell me how I'm only... That's all I got to say. 13 minutes in. I did take a little break because my mom asked me to make some juice chow. But we're going to start this carrot cake. Like I said, it's a long process. And the only reason it's a long process is because the carrot grating. But we're going to try our best. And I'm also recording on my phone because I need content for next week. So this is going to be a man tash. Man.
Y'all, we finna go get some ice cream. Mm-hmm. We're going to Jeremiah's, so I got my little light box. It's finna rain outside, but I'm meeting my cousin there, and I don't even know where my car keys are. You made it. It was raining. It's kind of hard. And then it goes to the note when I get up here. Okay, I'm holding the light, but I won't be in a minute. But y'all, we're making Rice Krispie treats, okay? Ooh. We're making Rice Krispie treats. Let me show y'all. I got the stuff, you know, I got the stuff. I got this family size. And I got this when I left, um, when I dropped my bestie off after the strawberry picking yesterday, and then two bags of marshmallows. So after that, I'm gonna make them take a shower and then make some hot chocolate. It's currently like seven o'clock, so I think I'm probably gonna start my movie at like nine o'clock or 8.30. We'll see how that works out. But yeah, I'm super excited. I was supposed to paint today, I mean tonight, but I think I'm gonna save that for like another day this week where I'm just gonna go painting in the park. Um, sounds very enjoyable to do that alone so we're gonna do that but yeah let's get right into it i haven't made these in so long and i had a little bit of cinnamon to mine y'all because i'm a cinnamon fanatic i love cinnamon i love the scent i love the taste i love the smell just everything all around y'all Making hot cocoa, guys. Sorry for the noise. It's the what's that thing called? Dishwasher. But as y'all can see, I made some rice krispie treats, and I thought I was recording the whole time. I was doing a little process, and I don't think I was. So yeah, there's that. Yeah, we got some Swiss Miss. Now I, I always, we always get the big one. We stopped getting the packs because we're like a family, and it's a fresh one now my mom she just wants water but i do like half water half milk guys don't knock it till you try it i know that sounds nasty but let my car warm up a little bit y'all but it's the next day or whatever we are getting duncan so they like make the order like right then and there like starbucks so and i have cold foam and the last last time not the one in the last walk i went to a different one in altima but the one in my home i waited a little bit like 10 minutes to get there and the cold foam was like melted it just was kind of like that i didn't get the full experience I'm gonna tell y'all what I got when I taste it because if it's nasty, I'm gonna go in on myself right now. And then I got a bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. Um, I wasn't gonna get anything to eat, but I don't feel like cooking anything. Or I did want boiled eggs, but I really don't want like hot sauce with coffee. But yeah, I just know I got a medium iced chai latte. Um, even though chai is not coffee, but you know the sense and i got it with oat milk because you know how me and milk but i'm gonna go ahead and place my order hi i have a mobile order for ernestine thank you okay so y'all i got my duncan and this is what i got i got actually let me flip the camera around see so y'all can see I got 
a medium iced chai latte, three brown sugar syrup pumps, two vanilla shots, and one liquid cane sugar. One pump of liquid cane sugar, and I got oat milk and cookie butter foam on top. Now, if you watched my last Vlogmas video, you would know that the last drink I got was kind of sweet, like a bit overpowering. And this isn't coffee, so it's like, is chai coffee? I don't think chai is coffee. But um, this isn't coffee, so it has an acquiring like aftertaste. Like I don't know if it's the oat milk or the actual chai, because I've never had chai before. So I'm guessing it's the chai, because I never tasted the oat milk in this. The two shots of vanilla, I think, really helped it. And then I ended up warming up this um, breakfast sandwich, because it was not given. But it's good now, cause she warm. You know, doing my like whole eggs with cheese or bacon. Don't mind me, I'm a little crusty. I have yet to brush my teeth and wash my face and all that. But it's 9 4 in the morning. Now, I've been trying to wake up at like 6 or 7 in the morning. I woke up at 6, y'all. I went back to sleep. It was so cold. Woke up at 7 and then I got my Bible study stuff, which is hence still on the bed. Didn't do it, fell back asleep. So, um, I decided to take the initiative to get out of the house. I'm going to go take a shower and I'm just going to bring... All my stuff with me my bible study stuff my journaling prayer stuff do it all at the park it's currently 55 degrees um by the time i get to the park it'll probably be like 64 at 11 a.m but i feel like it shouldn't take me two hours to go down the street chat but i do need to eat something like maybe i'll eat some oatmeal or something because i don't want to get hungry and then have to come back so these bell bottom jeans and this um, bodysuit from Sheen. And then for my jacket, I don't wanna wear the black jean jacket that I wore. Um, I wish I had more throwers. It's giving a cardigan, either a brown cardigan or a gray one, but it's a little chilly outside. I need something thicker than that little gray one that I have, but. So this is my week guys. This is generally how I plan my weeks. Everything is color coded. Purple is Iani Coaching. Pink is Iani Cookies and Treats, my home based bakery. Orange is YouTube. And then blue, blue is um, my personal branding. And green is just like things that I have to do. And then red is like the important thing. So, um, oh, I forgot I was going to paint in the park today. So that's lovely. I'll be at the park for a while guys. And then these are just my tasks like throughout the week. The green that's throughout the week. Those are my tasks. And then this is something I wrote in my journal this morning. I mean yesterday morning. He's simply asking to move to work and check these things off day after day. Because soon I will look up and physically see the newness and experience it on a whole new level. And then I quoted Deuteronomy 28.2. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of the Lord. Amen. We are at the park. And it's so empty here, like emptier than usual, but we're gonna go with it. Um, I don't really feel like sitting outside quite yet. I'm not even warm, but I'm gonna take this jacket off. But I am going to journal and pray and do Bible study. It is currently 11.35 and I know I was like, oh, I'll start at 11. I actually got here around 11.10, but I ended up reading and I ate me some Frosted Flakes, no milk. Um, they just taste good like that my own journal has really been helping me um it's a four-week prayer journal and it's supposed to help you draw near to god and hear god's voice and really just truly connect with him on a deeper more vulnerable level it has weekly prayers so every week there's four weeks remember but every week there's a prayer right and then there's a habit tracker. I know it's like kind of bright here. And then there's a habit tracker as well at the bottom. 
and you have prayer journaling bible study and then any other like um spiritual practice you want to do or even if you want to do like exercise just anything you want to put before god and then every day you have a um a different scripture and then you have your thanksgiving and your prayer and then the prayer section is truly just for your prayers with god just between you and him because i know me specifically i like to pray for others but i do that mostly at night time okay like when i'm in a secret place with him before i go to bed so these prayers are just specifically for me like what i need today or what i need this week or what i need even in that moment and then after that you have a journal prompt every other day so this day was a journal prompt but i think today it's just regular journaling and you get two pages oh god oh god oh god my bad y'all I seen a B. He was not gonna get in this car. But yeah, you have two whole pages for journaling. Obviously, this page wasn't used, but you can use it for like the, the same night or something like that. But yeah, you always have two pages for journaling because me personally, I like to write a lot. And when I spill the beans to God, I want to talk to him about my day, what's on my mind, what I'm feeling. And generally, that is why I put a lot of space because I want you to not just be surface level with God. Oh, I did this today. Da, da, da. Well, well, how did you feel today? What do you feel like like you struggled with today or just something that was on your mind or something that you want to do? Just give it to God and talk to him about it and just be open. It's just like having a conversation with a friend. But a friend that you can trust, a friend that you can be vulnerable with, a friend that you can be 100% with, okay? And they will be 100% with you. So, yeah, guys, um, I'm going to get right into it because I'm excited. Okay, guys, so we are at the park and I'm actually going to set y'all up so y'all can see me create content, creating content right now. <sighs> two for one combo, baby, two for one combo. But um, first, I'm going to talk to y'all a little bit or we'll pretend like I'm talking to y'all yeah. and tell y'all about this book because I told y'all. <laughs> I told y'all that this draw near prayer journal gonna do it and it comes with a Okay y'all I'm still at the park and it's like it's two twelve. So I've been here like three hours. Um, I'm actually really hungry. I filmed the content. Uh, I thought I wanted to paint today, but I'm so hungry. Everything is going out the window. So I think I'm gonna get Chipotle. So we're, we're, we're at the gas station. <laughs> Mr. Miss, I'm not gonna get gas. Gas is 277, y'all. Like, well, you know, I don't know. Racetrack gas just be doing it for me. I don't know if they put water in their stuff because they water. I mean, they gas just be real cheap. Real cheap, friend. Y'all, I got the stuff. Miss Chipotle. I haven't had Chipotle in so long. And I'm excited because I'm finna eat in this parking lot, y'all. No shame. And I'm gonna watch a little movie while I'm in here on my phone. So, I'm gonna tell y'all what I got. Because I got a tortilla on the side. Every time I get their chips, they be stale and cold and hard. And I don't like that. And I got me some. You know we got to get the napkins for the car, child. Because one thing about me, I'm going to take them Chipotle napkins. They got some good napkins, though. I ain't going to lie to you. I don't even really like the white ones. These brown ones going to do it. Some red sauce on the side. I usually get, like, sour cream on the side. But I'm feeling spicy. I got brown rice with chicken some fajita um, mix, like the vegetables, corn, pico, and then um, cheese. I kind of think I want to watch YouTube instead. Aaliyah Simone, girl. She, Aaliyah Simone, 
I've been watching her since I was like younger. And the fact that we're the same age is crazy. No, she's either 20 or 21. I think she's 21. But the fact that we're the same age is crazy. Like, girl, you inspire me so much. Don't know if you ever watched my YouTube video, but you inspire me so much. And I just love like your videography. You know your your angles the fact that you're so committed you got different cameras for different angles like girl i strive to be like you one day you got a house god has worked on my heart baby it's not jealousy it's admiration like that's the hard worker right there and she be on her p's and q's don't play with my kids. she be on her p's and q's okay yeah guys this is how she looks she looks really good I look like a man. Y'all see the tan too? Anyway, so I cleaned half the lace. I can, I think you can pretty much tell what's clean and what's not. So this is the clean. And this is obviously the used. And I don't use glue. I use even lace melting spray because that glue be taking people edges out. And I, I need all the edges I can get. I can't really have on camera looking like this. But anyway, y'all. Yeah, I'm going to continue. I just wanted to show y'all, like, I cleaned the lace. I've been using water and a little bit of shampoo and then rinsing it, like, keep spraying it and, like, letting it and then combing out the edges with a little, with this little part of the comb so all the gunk can come out because I don't want to put it back on my head and the lace is, like, caked up with spray and glue already, so yeah and then at the end when it's a little dry I clean it with alcohol so it can get that freshness because baby this gonna be a ponytail I can't hide no lace <laughs> it got to be right next day my hair didn't turn out quite the way i wanted it to guys like it's not as flat as i would like i'm a low-key perfectionist but i got the little ponytail and i attempted to detangle this but it's half detangled half not and at this point i'm pretty sure it's tangled again but let me show y'all let me show y'all because after i finished i literally had to go to work today what do i have to do today it's currently 10.39. I've been in bed watching YouTube. I was watching, catching up on Aaliyah Simone's video. I watched her week two of Vlogmas. Eight down, girl, you ate down, okay? Her visuals, her angles are everything, like everything. And now I'm wait watching Michaela Amari. Y'all, I like her too, I love her too. Like, her content eats, she's very relatable, very realistic, and she just be keeping it real. But um, I'm watching her now, but she was just talking about how she needed to get her life together. Girl, me too. So, um, I want to plan my day, but I really don't care to do it. But I'm just going to do like a little checklist on my phone. Okay, so I ordered, but I don't want to place my order yet because it is a little bit like 10 minutes away. And I wanted to be fresh. Fresh, like I just ordered it like fresh. I don't know, it's the end of the year. We gotta get ourselves together and I've already been getting myself together. I can say that. Like I'm proud of myself for trying to establish new habits. Because you know I don't be getting out of bed. I be getting up at like six in the morning and I still be doing what I need to do. Why is it so dusty over here? Oh, they messing with all that dirt. This is why my car be dirt. All this construction. But um, yeah, y'all, I just feel like I feel like I'll get more into it in the next video, but last vlog, y'all kind of seen like the emotion behind everything that was going on. Like, I just feel like life has just been lifing, but in a good way. But like, it's like a bittersweet kind of thing. Like, oh, something new is coming. These apartments are so nice. I used to want an apartment when I moved out, but it's giving, I want like a townhouse or a house when I first move out. And I know, I know 
that'll probably take a little longer but god is going to bless me okay and i have the faith that he will do it because if i don't want an apartment i don't have to get an apartment i don't have to settle and i don't have to rush either because i understand like okay let's ease into it but i'm not easing into nothing i'm jumping head first jehovah i don't want a condo i don't want an apartment i want a house or at least a townhouse we're learning this year i really did learn balance though over my whole life and like how to balance work and life and friendship and love and just time for myself god ain't no genie he not just gonna give you something right when you ask for it because just because like you need to work for it i don't care what nobody say every prayer requires work whether that requires obedience well always requires obedience but whether it requires obedience or simply um trying something new working on yourself transforming certain habits like you're always going to have to put in work for whatever you ask god for and um he gives us the grace and the mercy to make mistakes and stuff like that so we're not going to be perfect and we don't have to be perfect that's the best thing you can do is know that you're not perfect and you'll never be perfect god doesn't expect us to be perfect and it's like the prayers require work friends so if you praying and asking god for these things it requires work sometimes it may not require physical work but it's always going to require some work because you have to put you got to be about your business and you got to stand on business when it comes to your faith don't play your don't play about your faith don't allow anybody to talk down on your prayers or the things that you're asking or waiting god for like don't go out there and just seek it and try to get it for yourself like everything that's for you is going to come to you and everything that god has for you is going to come at the appointed time may not be when you want it to but it's going to come and when it does come you're going to really see and appreciate like dang god like i see why you had me wait i see why you waited until now because a lot of times we be seeing other people me included i see other people get the things that i've been praying for that i've been desiring for for a while but I'm still sitting here congratulating them because it's their time. It's not my time. It's their time. Like with YouTube. I thought I was going to grow more than I did this year. And I feel like I could have did a little better. But honestly, I'm proud of myself for my consistency with YouTube. I may not be all in the SEO and things like that. But I'm proud of myself for my consistency. So next year, like next week, it's going to be a lot of different goal settings and things like that. That's one of the reasons why I'm going to the cabin trip. Because I'm going to be talking to Jehovah about next year. And it's just a lot i want to do but the way i want to go about it is different because my mindset is so different you know all right so i'm back home and this is gone but i went i went to get a muffin and they didn't have any muffins so i had to get a freaking donut but anyway i would have got a breakfast sandwich but i just feel like that didn't the price didn't she would have been like nah sis you pushing it but if you didn't know i got not the same drink that i got earlier in the week but last week in the last vlog when i was in altamont um but i dosed it down because i told y'all it was too sweet and now i got three a medium latte with oat milk and then a cookie butter cold foam of course i'm gonna be sad when they take that away three really good cane sugars three hazelnut shots and three brown sugar um syrup pumps was like feeling myself get very like unproductive and y'all know i end my work days my days at like five o'clock 5 30 because i work at six right or i leave for work at 6 30 but i just couldn't do it like i edited the videos but then i felt myself getting lazy and tired in the bed so we're gonna go shopping for a new um planner because I was going to do it next vlog, but I was trying to hold off, but it's whatever. Alright guys, we've made it, and look at each bit. I never even showed y'all the outfit I was wearing today. It's giving bit booty duty. but hey. Last year, this year, last year, my journal was big, like freaking huge and i thought i was gonna like it and then as the year progressed i realized i don't have a personal life so i didn't really need a tab for personal per se
This time last year, I was filming on my phone. Okay, see, I like this. This is cute. Like, it has just, like, plain and simple. This is amazing. This is kind of ugly, kind of plain. Not really creepy. Like okay, but wait, y'all. So, this one, it's like a day-by-day -day planner. And you have your goals, your to-do list, your notes. And then, like, it's like a 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. type vibe. And I'm freaking with it because I need something that's like there that I can use for a daily planner and like to plan my week. This is a make too. It's pretty thick. See, I like this one, but it, there's freedom, but there's no structure. I don't remember seeing a lot of these last year, but I'm not really a fan of the whole column thing. Um, maybe it's just me. I'm really like I'm leaning toward this one. So I checked the price. I changed my mind. This junk is forty dollars. Not for paper. No thank you. Hi, how are you? Good are you? I'm okay. What's your phone number? Ernestine? Yes. Did I pronounce it right? Yeah, you got it right. Would you like to make a stuff. <laughs> Y'all I haven't had like green stock in forever. So last time I went very last time, and I think that was like a year ago, year and a half ago, they tried to freak out of me. And it's always this location, but I haven't eaten at any other, actually I have a lot, but yeah. So I got, what did I get? A six piece, three Korean, spicy Korean barbecue, and then the other is lemon pepper, cooked well done, with fries and drink. I was gonna get great power aid, but Grape wasn't working, so I got fruit punch. I'm gonna try the Korean barbecue. This is what it looked like. Ooh! Baby, that's hot. That's so hot it burnt my fingers. That Korean barbecue busting now. I didn't expect it to be that good. Cause I used to always get lemon pepper. And they never had teriyaki, so I was like, uh. I actually have to go to work soon. It's like six something. I came home and ate and chilled. I was on the phone. But before I end today's week with you guys, I just want to show you guys the planner that I ended up getting. So I got the Birds Sky and I see many different versions, but I could only find this one version of this. So I'm like, okay, these are either popular or is this old or whatever. But January through December and I really like this one because it has the pockets the folders first of all and then it has goals and you got I told you I want to do like goals and stuff next week all right so this is January guys and on the side it's just notes and then you know 23 24 the date the month before and the month after but this is what I fell in love with because at first, I didn't really like the column idea. And I still don't really like the column idea, but I like how they included like work and personal, like to do's and tasks, right? And then I have my top three because I do try to do this like top three or the priority things first. And through this, I'm able to easily color coordinate and things like that. And this is more than enough space for me. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're lined, so that's a plus as well because my other one is not lined. Like, this one isn't lined. And then I told y'all, like, this was just too much space for personal. And then I really like the notes section and things like that. On the other side, this is what also sold me. The tracker, right? It's so cute. So cute. And then if I have time. And this, this, I like this. This is something I can look at every single day. And this is obviously a notes is it a note? Oh, child, I'm thinking this is a note section. This is Sunday. But um, this is an it can wait. So the things that aren't as important or I can do over the following week. And it's I feel like that would be good for me to have that and like to look at it. To help me not stress as much. Like, you know, if this don't get done, that's okay. But yeah, y'all. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And 
stay blessed know that god is with you he loves you and he wants a relationship with you and you alone child bye